so <coughs> this is third part we break it because it was becoming too much um so what is remaining on the large scale map is basically contour and uh production of the map so these are not the same file as you use as before but this is the entire coverage of abu campus main campus like the entire coverage including phase two this is phase two so um yeah so um this is all that is inside the school yeah road and everything is inside now we need to put contour on top and uh, produce the map so the first thing to do uh is to draw out a boundary where we want everything to be so uh i think there is a share file for boundary here already uh, this one was the use shape file for this so i'm only trying to show you how to do that because i do not want to go ahead and uh do everything like everything everything since i don't have the energy so uh, okay let me remove these ones for now so that we can have uh much please okay um these ones were places already in the work so um some of them are repeated repeated so i say repeated <laughs> okay the boundary why am i not seeing you okay it's like the boundary is having a separate agenda but then anyway let's make it hollow and see if other futures are in it then bring it down and see there are no futures that are showing with it oh, this boundary having the same different coordinate system then let's forget it and do what we must okay so some of them are having different agenda so i'm no i have no time to sort them out now but then let's just create a boundary arbitrary boundary so here we will now do a future class for boundary boundary polygon so we'll just create a boundary round and yeah so no 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 you see they are of different folder so i it was asking me as so i'm supposed to select this one since in no deal with them okay i'm supposed to select these two yeah so now i will digitize the boundary let me just say the boundary is along this side i'm just going to create a boundary where it has to meet with my futures that is these ones they have to meet actually so um So let's say this is my boundary so you can see that it actually meets with the other stops so i will now stop editing so now i'm going to clip this um contour to this side so to do that uh, to clip clip a raster is different from clipping a vector file so uh, let's clip this raster now once you select this clip you are going to see clip when you see clip out a cut out a portion of a raster so under the clip under geo uh, database management that's the one you're using so please use search is a bit faster that's why i'm using it if i want to go to two to show you exactly where it is it's going to take a whole time so that's why i'm using search tool to get these ones 
I gotta come out now. Okay, so the raster is also uh, just which of the raster, which is this one, is what we want to clip. The extent is, I hope we will identify the boundary. Let's do something first before we get ourselves into trouble. Okay, I know, I know which one now. So, so. You you search for clips and then you see clip data clip under data management tool. So you double click on it. Okay, so the raster you are trying to clip is this one. And then the extent is this one, so you drag it and drop. Okay, so you tell it to use input future for clipping geometry. Then you okay. So it's going to clip the whole of this, so we we'll remove the other parts. Okay. So once it clips it, we'll now remove uh, this big one here, so that we just deal with things within this limit I think it's about to get down so uh, yeah so we we'll clip it to where we want so um, let's drag this up it's definitely going to cover but it's the one we are going to use the contour is going to be on top not below so it's going to actually cover this but this is what we want to do first we want to create the contour right so to create contour there are several contour i cannot go into it right now so i will actually play your your indulgence to go through and check which contour will be best but this is the one i'm going to use the contour under spatial analyst okay so that's the one i'm going to use uh, so you double click on it after you search contour it's going to come out okay. okay so the contour is out here so now your this is the raster that you just imputed and then contour interval let's use five uh, let's use ten but you need to go and check for the best contour interval actually so I'm going to use 10 for this video purpose so you find out which contour um contour interval is the best for this very purpose okay all right so um it's going to produce the contour and then that's it so we we'll remove we we'll remove this one we we'll remove this one so that we can see the contour on our work okay so now what we need to do is to um go into the map production so let me make this is it white no hollow not white so let's increase the size for this okay so now let's go into map production to produce this we'll go into a layout view and then um okay so the next is you come to file uh, and then you come down to page and print setup so i don't know which paper size she said you should produce it but you should check which paper size is better i think a3 should do this and then depending on the shape of your your map if it's more if very long you should use portrait if it's not that long you can use landscape so and then make sure you check the scale map elements proportionality to change in in page size 
so this is now a setup of uh um let me remove something uh, yeah. i needed to remove uh this grid yes okay so now this is it i think landscape will do justice best for this so let's go back and change it to landscape so you go back to your page and print setup and uh landscape okay so so once you change it to landscape we can make adjustment to this adjustment to this but i don't i want the adjustment to be because i want us to put an inset map okay so putting an inset map will give you more leverage okay so uh, the next thing is to zoom this using this one now i don't know why the scale is not showing but it's supposed to show scale which sometimes once you're not seeing scale like this you will save the work or you will just go out and come back bring all your data back in it will show you the scale but then i'm not going to use scale right now because i don't have that time again to exit and come back okay so i will just produce it that way the way it is so i'm not saying you should do exactly the way i'm producing follow the way your shape of this thing is and then make it look very visible so that the person marking you will not look and say this guy is does not know what he's doing okay so um just if you want to pan it you use the pan tool this one if you want to make any adjustment you have to press this select layer um element then you make a draw so you adjust it so that you have your this thing is not holding it okay so um okay so let's just use the whole of this um so that we can put the insert somewhere here let's use the whole of this so that we can put insert somewhere so if we make if we make one more this thing we won't be able to so let's go back small so let's leave it like this all right but then now if you look at our contour our contour is too much rowdy and rule of contour is that contour should not overlap building so you have to cut all of this one out i don't want this video to be long but then let's go back to data view so we want to work on the contour now so contour no suppose cross building okay so you can see that the whole of this place are building how do you now remove this contour you will start editor then you will select the contour okay you select the contour now here you see this split tool that's what you'll be using so now you click here now you see that it is selected so let's look at how this one goes so it did not really go much on top building towards this side so we'll just cut it here and cut it here so that we don't have so what we do we just once you click on this one you come here and you come here and then let's make a split somewhere here actually so that we don't distort but then you have to take this is the uh, time where you will be serious you will take your time to you will take your time to create to clip all of this now another thing is you have to be careful as well so that you don't select your boundary most of the times you remove the boundary so that you will not be able to remove your boundary and then come back later ah, where is my boundary so you do this and then you remove this one i won't be fixing all of this you delete it i won't be fixing all of the the contour stuff okay so you clip here clip here so you use this tool and then let's remove it like this then you do the same thing with this one okay let's clip it here then we remove we we'll delete this okay 
is there any other contour following inside here then you have to follow and change most of your road okay you have to follow and change most of your road like change the color the color have to match okay so this one is a repetition so let's remove it uh, okay um, let's change the root so that we can see better that's a major road let's use it like this okay the major road you see that the major road is there then let's change this minor road here to this i'm already i'm already changing the colors so that we can know which one is which one and which one is not which one okay so um what again what again this walkway let's change it to black okay and then so most of the rest are contour so we need to reduce most of the okay we have rivers stream as well so let's go and change the stream i don't know the use of this university fence so just remove it uh okay then stream let's take it let's make it blue okay so these are streams and some of the streams are also too much so you need to also reduce them so let's uh still on the contour all you need to do is to continue um removing those that are on building remove those that are within the building area and leave the building alone okay so that it won't be too much and uh, because contour are not supposed to cross building okay so that is one of the rule so let's remove this one okay, so that we can have rest of mine remove this one remove this one so um then this this other thing you will do but guess here i am not in the right mind to do that you're supposed to these contours are too sharp there's this tool we call a tool that will generalize them let me see if i can do that uh generalize i hope i'm even spelling it well let me leave general first i should be able to see that generalization okay now the problem i don't know which one inside this generalization It should be a tool under cartography. <sighs> Guys, just find a tool, find how to generalize contour, please. Uh, that's the one I think I won't be able to do right now. So that you know, you have to, like all of this one, uh, they are too sharp, and contour is not supposed to be that sharp, okay? so you have to generalize them to reduce the curve but if i remember i think i should have a video on that i will send the link as well to you guys okay so that i don't have to repeat everything it's stressful and i don't want the video to be too long too long too long that like that so um so we are we'll cut this as we've been doing uh, usually we cut again uh, using split tool we cut again and then we delete right click and delete then you remove this one completely because it's a news on there and you see that they are so while selecting be careful so that you don't guys the rest when i go do them like that when i go just follow the whole thing actually follow the whole thing 
that I've done so far, okay? So I am feeling like with the portion I cover, you know, she only gave you guys one kilometer by one kilometer. Okay, so uh, with the portion I've covered, yeah, I don't think uh, oh, this will enter, it, it's not going to uh, enter A3, so let's use a big, I'll use a big paper size, okay? So I'm going to use an A0 paper so that I should see my map very well. Okay, so I'm going to select A0, A0. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I think with an A0 now, uh, it's quite okay. So I'm going to, I'm back to layout view now. Uh, and then bring back the boundary. Then I'm going to make one zoom. Ash. It's like even the A naught. Let me check something. There is this way you can check how your map will look like in the final output. So, uh, what's the name of the tool? Um, I can see it. Okay, see it here. So this one is to one yes this is how the map will come out so i think this is quite okay for the scale i select so let me um bring it down a bit and then check again i think this is quite okay though the features are more jam-packed so it's still not too okay but then the main thing is i know your portion has more small portions so it won't be up to what i just did okay so contour color is um purple okay so contour color is purple let's select a purple color uh okay should this be purple enough i think so if it's not purple enough no problem uh okay what other thing we need to change its color okay this is a water body the abu dam so let's change its color to let's make this colorless that's without color and make this blue so that it can just have a shape of so you can see that the other streams are connected to it okay so i think basically i'm okay with this so i'm going to create an inset map to show which local government this comes from okay so to do an inset uh okay 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 to do an inset um okay let me go back to here to do an insert i'm going to draw this i'm going to make a withdrawal down so that i can have where to plot our our grid when we are putting grid so i'm going to put an insert map here so that the up one can be for our title okay okay so we have our title here insert map here and then all that so now i'm going to put the insert map so to do insert you come on uh insert then add a new data frame now which local government is this uh is abu in abu is in sabongari local government so i'm going to add sabongari local government as an insert here let me use down here so i'll add sabongari as an insert here to tell them that ah this map is coming from an inset of Sabongari. So let me make a small adjustment here. Yeah. So that the Sabongari can have can stay on its own. So now once you click inside it's activating. If you can if, if you have not seen it, you will come and right right click on it and then activate click activate. So I'm going to import uh a shape file of sabongari into it um i have my sabongari shape file here in this place so you see sabongari is going to show here uh, and then i'm just going to maybe shade it okay i'm just gonna shade it tell them that sabongari is coming sorry this whole map is coming from um this whole place like this is an inst like the map is in sabongari so abu is in sabongari that's just what i did here 
okay so you can actually make an adjustment where your insert map can be outside of this whole thing but then it's because of the large area if now i don't know like i like them to be separately that is i'll create this one somewhere like this in a large portion and put this one in another different dimension okay so uh, i don't know whether if i turn this to a landscape the, that is it's uh, uh, the whole thing if i turn it to landscape it's i don't know whether it's gonna favor us but then let's try landscape and see portrait sorry and see if it's good i think maybe it's, it will favor us yeah sure it should favor us so let's have this down here so that we can have a different um i think so i think landscape we portrait sorry will give us a better representation so we can increase this inset can increase it to have its own whole thing here so uh then we make it bigger yeah let's make it bigger but inside is not really supposed to be big so you don't really need to bother yourself that much so it's just to show the people that that you're working the people that you're doing the work just showing people that ah you know what you're doing sometimes you can even do an inset of nigeria a different inset you know but then let's just leave this one like this okay let me leave it like this so that we can put our other things down here so the next is to bring out our legend so let's bring our legend now you see this one is shape file that's why you see plenty of this thing is here so uh we'll bring all of them out and then we'll minus some of them do i don't have time to sort them out now but then let's just bring all of them out for bringing sake okay for bringing say let's bring all of them out so um okay the contour the everything is coming out so okay so uh let's finish it and see uh, so let's put it here that's our you'll be adjusting until you're done adjusting actually so um so what again do we need to bring our we'll bring out our not arrow you choose a new any not arrow of your choice so i'm going with i'm going with this one no i'm going with i'm confused at which one to choose but then um let me go with this so you're okay it's going to come out so i'm going to put my not arrow here okay So I, I just try to put my note arrow there. So what again? Uh, scale bar. Okay, I don't really know which scale it's at now, but then any scale that comes out, I will. I think she have taught you some things about. I'll do one of it here so that you see. Uh, okay, this metric. Let me let me use this metric scale. Let me use this metric scale. Okay, said it has no it's saying there's no scale so i have to specify the scale for me to see it so uh let's draw it and see so it's because there's no scale now why but then i won't do this let's leave it but then you know just check other of my videos please i will send link to those videos to you as well regarding bringing out this very one and then text as well it will have that whole thing but the one i want to show you is this one where you see one centimeter is close to 10 meter uh, 10,000 meters uh it's not supposed to be so but then let's go to properties let me show you how you edit it so it's 10 whatever it is represent either you write represent in full like this or you just write rep 
space this is what you do so as you then you show it is centimeter to kilometer then you say okay and then you okay it here so it's going to come like this one centimeter to represent zero kilometer because there's actually no scale so if you don't do it like this you are your go get issue so this is how you represent it well for her okay so um so let me put it here i'm just trying to show you basically what and what and what to bring okay so your title okay your title that you've added contour to it to me it's already a topo map so you can decide to say a topo map or you can say a large scale map depending on the name she give you guys large scale map of abu men camp okay so you okay it and you drop it so yeah but you need to make this in cap lock okay so um i don't know whether where i put this is really presentable but if it's not presentable make sure you put your own where you feel it's presentable for you okay so i think the next thing is to put uh, um, grids now i'm going to put grid so we use um let's use uh let's use this measured grid since everything we did was measured so let's but then just label you don't don't tick you can also add tick as well but anyone but don't use this grid label because it's it's not too presentable like that so you're okay so it's going to have that for you here now the reason is okay it's already there you can increase uh you can increase the the scaling by coming to properties oh sh it's already around that something but i have to finish it so you guys just stay tuned okay um okay so you come under labels and you increase the right onto this then i think that's all you need to do here okay so it's going to definitely increase the the right ups okay so um then you bring out the one of this place but this one you're going to use a different uh this thing because this is a boundary administrative boundary and then you're not supposed to use this one down so you're going to use this one uh i don't know how to call it name sure but anyhow so uh and then you go you go you go and then you go to properties before you click okay this time around uh i'm trying to hold it up so okay under labels again you increase it to either 14 anyone that decides that fits you well so you make it bold now uh, here you're going to just use left and right because the left and right are spread across the wing so it's once you do it you will see sure before it was showing straight 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 like this but then now it has bent through it has bent to follow like this okay so that is what i did by that one okay so um all right so what again do i need to do what again do i need to do what again do i need to do okay so you can write your name uh go to inside and then text you write your name your matric number i think i know someone's rich number in your class so i'm going to use adams but i'm not going to use his matric number adam is run and then you 19 gm 200 201 i don't know who that is anyway then you put the other things jump course code submitted to blah 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 
then you make adjustment of the font if it's not enough you come under change symbology right click then it will bring you here then you come under change symbols not symbology anyway uh, then you increase maybe to 20 but it's gonna be too much so i'm just doing that for doing sake so uh so now for proper presentation you come here under this draw tool you draw a line that fits this and then you right click on it go to properties then you click here and make no uh, no colors then you make this black and then you leave it like that you know just to give it a better representation uh, you can do same with this one here as well so then in general the whole of everything down here i'm going to put them under one um one umbrella like i'm going to make it look presentable so this one will be no color this one will be black and then this will be okay so zoom and look at here then drag it so that when you're not seeing a color then you know it has match okay so do same with this one here until you see it look white then you know it has match so that you don't have double edge lines okay and so uh so you see that we have an edge so you can fill all the remaining details around here scale every other details that you think you're gonna feel you fill them in then you also draw this is called a neat line so you draw it such a way that it covers your your area that you put your this thing um your legend your grid sorry black then you okay so um you make it adjust it to the way you want so and then you also put another one for this guy man here and then you right click and then you do this there are other templates you can also follow let's reduce this i think it's showing us let's reduce it so that we have enough space but whatever you think wherever you think you can put it you can as well put this thing down here okay but then okay let's put this one down here so let me just reduce this and then put it down here so that we don't disrupt the up so let's put it down here let's put it down here and then we can make adjustment to to the entire side of this again okay we can make adjustment actually can bring this to center so that it can be on the center you know so uh, and then what I am not covering here is labels I'm supposed to label all of this but time has gone uh, I will send you order of my videos that has this already in it so this is 2 a.m. and I'm still awake trying to cover all of this this is the part three so i think this will help you go a long way so i will beg you to just help me watch this video at least try watch them i know it's long you need to download it to your system but try watch drop me a comment like just show me your encouragement okay show me that you appreciate my effort so i appreciate and thank you for staying tuned to this time uh so the next final thing if you are done if you like what you've done and then you are done 
I tell you, you have to adjust it because this place is too big. So you have to make adjustment up. But I'm not doing that. I just decided to bring this one down, you know. But then, you make adjustment to make sure you balance and settle your entire map first. When you are done, you click File. Then you come down to Export Map. And, uh, and uh, you wait for it to, the, to prompt out. And then, you name it jump for to one and then you save it whether to pdf to any format you want from here png svg svg is scalable vector for those who want to do web map in their final year project they will need to finish the digitizing and export it as svg pdf let's save it as pdf anyway so it's going to save and after it have saved you go for printing and you need to preview consult more okay so uh so basically this is the end of the tutorial the end of the training for this course uh i will find time to do that of uh, the landsat imagery so bye bye